an injunction that has been filed by um, any person in relation or within the premises of the suit that we're talking about. Apart from that, at the time the speaker was speaking, there was only a bear rate that had been filed. And a bear rate does not constitute an action into a properly constituted Supreme Court action for, for hearing or determination. We got really the rules of the Supreme Court require the filing of a system of case to accompany a writ or the filing of the system of case within 14 days after the writ has been filed. Otherwise, the action will be struck out. The speaker makes the point that in your advice to the president, you urge the president not to assent to the bill. But in what the secretary wrote to the parliament, they are asking parliament to cease and desist. And the speaker makes the argument that that is more or less telling parliament not to do its work of simply presenting the bill to the president, and the president would have to follow the constitutional provisions in that regard. Well, I think um, it's an inference that the secretary to the president made. And of course, one may say you know, reasonably, because my letter set out the full facts and circumstances of the actions that had been filed in the Supreme Court of Ghana. And the first fact was that it did. Uh, the, uh, one of the plaintiffs, Richard Sky, had actually sought an order restraining the clerk of parliament from transmitting the bill to the speaker. And I said that out clearly in my letter. The parliament is also a party to the action in court. So why not let parliament do its work and present it and they will bear the consequences if there should be any contempt process? Well, that's up to them. But I think they, I mean, what, what is the point in actually transmitting a bill whose validity, constitutional validity, has been challenged in the Supreme Court of Ghana? And I would say that on all fronts, on all accord, indeed, every aspect of this process is political. Every aspect of this bill is politically motivated. Otherwise, they, there's really no agency. There's, I remember um, mooting the contract amendment bill by which public officers are prohibited from, from um, charging compound interest as a rate of interest in contract. That's a very important bill, a bill that has to do with the public potential, the public purse, where it actually has a tendency to save the state billions of cities in judgment debt. The bill was passed by Parliament in July 2023. It was only brought to the President for his assent about three weeks ago. And the President assented to it only about two weeks ago. So clearly, it tells you that every step that has been taken in, in this matter is politically motivated. And I find it so much um, in bad faith. Yeah. Indeed, indeed, if you carefully consider the statement made by the Speaker, you made, a, you made a point about all that is happening is politics. There are those who also make the point that it appears the president does not simply want to sign it. And in fact, they suspect that he set that process in motion to not sign it when he opted not to sign the uh, anti rich craft bill into law, even though he had previously assented to a private member's bill that also had custodial sentence in there to make the point that because it imposed custodial sentence, it means that it places a burden on the consolidated fund. No, I would think that that's actually a very faithful view of